Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a deep dive into Barba.js plugins. A plugin is an optional part of the library that we can include to add a set of additional features to the core of Barba. The first plugin we are going to discover is Barba CSS. It's a very powerful plugin that gives us the ability to animate containers through CSS instead of using JavaScript or an entire JavaScript library. Barba CSS simply adds predefined classes to a container throughout the course of the transition, then it gets rid of them once the transition is completed. So, the first thing we need to do is to include the plugin via npm or a CDN link. Then, we need to call the barbaUse method to tell Barba that we are going to use the CSS plugin. Now, as you can see, every time we jump from one page to another, a class gets added instantly to the container, then it gets removed right after the end of the transition. As I said earlier, the CSS plugin adds predefined classes to containers, and here is the list of them. Barba once represents the state of the container one frame before the actual transition. Barba once two, on the other hand, represents the state of the container right after the end of the transition. Then we have Barba once active, which represents the actual transition. Within this class, we define the duration of the transition in addition to some other animation properties. These three classes are basically kind of the CSS version of the before once, once and after once hooks. Furthermore, we have the Barba leave, Barba leave two, and Barba leave active classes, which represent the leave in transition of the container. And then we have Barba enter, Barba enter two, and Barba enter active, which represent the entering transition of the container. So that said, let's create an animation that occurs only once a visitor lands on the page the first time. The animation is basically going to scale the container from zero to its original size. Therefore, we need to set the transform property within the Barba once class with the scale set to zero. Then we need to set the transform property to scale the image to the original size within the Barba once two class, which again represents the final state of the container. Finally, we need to set the transition property within the Barba once active class to define the duration and some other values as well, such as the timing function. Now, let's add a fade-out fade-in animation that plays when a visitor jumps from one page to another. So, the first step we need to do is to take care of the fade-out effect of the current container, and that's why we need to start with the Barba Leaf class and set the opacity to 1, which is the initial state of the container. Then, we need to use the Barba Leaf 2 class to create the final state of the current container. Now, we need to use the Barba Leaf Active to set the duration of the animation. Now, as you can see, the container fades out, yet the next page's container shows up instantly, since we still didn't yet create the entering animation. As you might have guessed it, to create the fade-in animation, we need to use the Barba Enter, Barba Enter 2, and Barba Enter Active classes.
Now we can make the animation more interesting by adding some translations. The CSS plugin overrides the default ones, leave and enter hooks, so you have to keep in mind that whenever we use this plugin, the logic within one of these hooks won't work. Let's give it a try anyway. As you can see, it didn't work. That being said, in case we want to run some JavaScript logic before or after the transition, we can do that by calling one of the other regular hooks, such as after leave or before enter for instance. Now, let's say we have a few different transitions and each one of them triggers a unique animation. For the time being, that's not possible since our classes work the same way as a global hook, which applies the same animation during all the transitions. So, to create a unique animation for each transition, we need to create a unique class for each one of them. To do that, we need to give a name to each transition, then we need to use that name as a prefix in the class name instead of Barba. For example, let's change the color of the container to blue if its namespace equals Dino2 and yellow if the namespace is equal to Dino3. Now, if we test this, it won't work, because once we use this method, we have to call the hook that is equivalent to the CSS class. That means if we are using amazing leave, then we need to call the leave hook. On the other hand, if we use the gorgeous enter class, then we need to call the enter hook. Now it's time to try another Barba plugin which is Ravager. If you remember I have talked about this one in the third and fourth part of this series when we were discovering the data object properties and transition rules. Ravager essentially makes it possible to base your conditions on the page's routes. To use the Ravager plugin we need to create an array of objects and each one of them must contain a certain path and a name.
Then again, we need to call the use method to tell Barba that we are going to use the plugin and pass in two parameters which are the plugin and an object that contains the routes array. Now we can choose which transition to apply based on the route of the page. In this example, the first transition will be applied if the route name is equal to dinosaur2, which refers to the slash dino2.html path. On the other hand, if the route name is equal to dino3, meaning that the path of the next page equals slash dino3.html, Barba will apply the second transition. Now we can also use the route property which returns undefined if we don't use the router plugin. The third plugin is Prefetch. If you remember in the syntax part 2 video, we have seen that by default Barba prefetches a page once the visitor hovers on its link on the current page to exploit the 300 milliseconds taken to click on it. With this plugin we are taking a step further as once we add it, Barba will prefetch every link on the page automatically. And with this, we reach the end of this video, so make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.